Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the West Ham Network. I am Matt, your host, aka Stato, and this is the Stat Attack for Liverpool away. It's Wednesday night, under the lights. It's a 7.30 kickoff live on Amazon Prime. So if you haven't got that, it's, I think it's like £9 for the month if you really want to get the game. Unfortunately, we kind of picked a bad time to play Liverpool. As we usually do, Liverpool have hit a run of form recently, up to eighth in the Premier League table, sitting on 13 points from nine games, having played one less than West Ham. Three wins, four draws, two losses. A goal difference of plus nine with 21 for and 12 against. Kind of padded and boosted up by the fact that they beat Bournemouth 9 0 earlier in the season. Um, four wins and a draw in the last six in all competitions including a 7-1 win against Rangers at Ibrox on Wednesday night last week, and, of course, a 1-0 win at home to Man City on Sunday. West Ham come into the game in 12th place on 11 points, having played the game more with 10, with three wins, two draws and five losses. A goal difference of minus two, having scored nine and conceded 11. West Ham, however, also coincidentally, have four wins and a draw in the last six in all competitions, including, of course, a five-game unbeaten run. Um, the head-to-head -head doesn't look great, as any West Ham fan would probably expect. Um, we met 52 times in the Premier League. Liverpool have come out on top 32 times, whereas West Ham have only won 10. Liverpool are one goal short of a century of goal. Premier League goals against West Ham, sitting on 99, whereas West Ham are currently two short of a half-century, sitting on 48. Liverpool have picked up 22 clean sheets in that time, whereas West Ham have picked up 10. So the stats do favour Liverpool, and we sort of know that. Um, West Ham look like they win sort of one in four. And, I mean, this is backed up by the fact that Liverpool have only lost one of their last 49 home games against West Ham. That's, I'm sure that's, you know, not just Premier League. That would be first division all the way back. But, I mean, the last time West Ham actually won at Anfield was a 3-0 win back in August 2015, which I believe was under Slavan Bilic in the last season at Upton Park. And at the time, Liverpool were playing under Brendan Rodgers at, I think it was the very end of his time at Liverpool. I think only a couple, maybe a couple of months later, maybe a month or two months later, Rodgers left and Klopp came in. West Ham did, however, win, obviously I know it's the away game, but West Ham did win the home game against Liverpool last year in a 3-2 win being one of only two sides that actually beat Liverpool in the Premier League last year. So West Ham do have something to look look at, you know, if they can take the game to Liverpool like we did last year. Liverpool have won 11 of their last 12 Premier League games played on a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, having lost last lost on one of them days against Leicester last December. But equally, West Ham have only lost one of their last 13 midweek games, Funnily enough, it was against Arsenal, but was also last December. Coming into the game, Salah, as you'd expect, is Liverpool's top scorer with nine goals in 14 games. And Diego Jota is the top assister this season with five goals, sorry, with five assists in eight games. And those both in all competitions, so that includes the Champions League. Um, reports on Twitter seem to indicate that Klopp will be in the dugout for the game despite getting a red card at Man City on Sunday. They've, they, they're still waiting for the referee's report to determine, I don't know what, what they're actually charging him with, so he has the right to appeal it, I guess. So, <sighs> he's still going to be in the dugout. Um, the only thing I would say is Liverpool are in the midst of a bit of an injury crisis. Uh, Diaz is out, will be at the World Cup. Matip is out, Oxley chamberlain Keita... Arthur, who they brought in on loan from, I think, Juventus, um, Canate, and even now, top assister, Diego Jota is out. He got injured in the game at Man City. And there's talks that he could even be out of the World Cup. So Liverpool are sort of getting bare bones at the moment, and their bench is starting to show. It, that gives West Ham's positive to look at. Defensively, they're not very good. I mean, James Milner played the left, uh, played at right back against Man City. Trent was on the bench. I don't know if Trent maybe had a knock or was injured or they just weren't risking him or just because he's out of form. 
So Liverpool can be got out. I'm expecting, as always, with a, a big game, West Ham to have a go. West Ham always up their game. Uh, I'm gonna go for goals. I'm gonna, I'll go for a two-two. I uh, will go for a Desmond. But it's it's Liverpool away. Who who knows what's gonna happen? We have to we have to see. We just believe. Back the team. Hope we keep our unbeaten run going. That has been your stat attack. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Get your comments in down below. Hit the join button if you want to become a member if you're interested. And make sure you hit that notification bell to get notifications of all the videos that are coming out. There's going to be a lot of games left still between now and the World Cup. Plus a lot of other videos we're doing as well to keep you interested. And as always, keep safe, wash your hands and come on your irons. Oh, mm -hmm.